we're back again with Cupid Parasite and let's just keep it going. Looks like Mr. Snell isn't up yet. Maybe he didn't get much sleep last night. Mm, nope. After what happened, he might have been thinking about how to update security. And on top of that... Girl, you make him nervous. Kaneko,ちいか。何が目的なんだ。お前にとって大切なのは一体何だ。なぜそこまで頑張れるのか教えてくれ。And he does not understand you. Mr. Snell was really backed into a corner there. He looked so worried and seemed desperate for an answer. He don't understand you. The phone call kind of threw things off. But what could I have said? It's worth doing, but I also want to prove my dad wrong. But if I told him that, I'd have to admit that I'm Cupid. As a realist, Mr. Snow would never believe that. As I made breakfast, I decided I'd have to come up with a convincing answer. I heard movement from the bedroom. Oh, is he awake? Breakfast was nearly done, so it was good timing. I put the scrambled eggs on the plate as I heard the door swing open. <laughs> what is this? He's late. At least he's dressed. Hey, you! I have a name. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> is that what this is about? You, you dry your underwear outside? Mr. Snell pointed to the yard, his face bright red. I had in fact hung up my underwear there to dry. Oh, so you noticed, huh? Oh, that was the plan? <laughs> this was the plan I come up with earlier. I decided to make the house look like it really did have a wife living in it. If there is someone stalking around your place and taking photos, we'll show them your wife actually exists. So I'm presenting it in a way that makes it obvious a family lives here. We can hang your underwear out there too. By showing them your underwear? At least use a handkerchief or something. What's wrong with underwear? I don't know where to look. Mr. Snell glared. <laughs> Mr. Snell glared straight at me. The wrinkle between his brows seemed five times deeper than usual. Huh? Should I really not have used my underwear? Back in the share house, I had Gil watch them for me, so I didn't think it was bad or anything. I thought that Mr. Snell wouldn't care about these things, either. He always seemed so uninterested in anything besides work. Uh, Alright, then I'll switch your layers to my handkerchief. Or a stocking or something. Please, no stockings either. Does, does everything turn you on? <laughs> Not even stockings? Oh well. Oh, by the way, I also made breakfast. Are you hungry? Oh, so you made it today. I see. You calm now, you good? Mr. Snell glanced at his watch. Oh, if you're short on time, there are the jelly drinks you always have in the fridge. No, you went to the trouble of making it. So I'll eat. Alright, I'll bring it right over. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Yes, thank you. After taking a bite, Mr. Snell looks surprised. Oh, umaino. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was only a single sentence, but I couldn't stop smiling ear to ear. I felt like it was really from the heart. We ate in silence, and I stole a quick glance to gauge his reaction. He was focused on eating. Last night, he looked so worried about everything. Um, Shelby, you asked me yesterday why I was so passionate about being an advisor. 
<laughs> Mr. Snell's shoulders twitched suddenly. He immediately stopped eating. He leaned in to listen, showing that he really wanted to know. I continued on. He really does mean a lot to me. Ever since college, I love bringing people together, even if they do get annoyed at me sometimes. Even now, my friend will call me the Cupid Parasite. Well, maybe not so much these days, but still. The other reason is to prove my father wrong. Your father? Yes. My father rejected everything that I wanted to do. He said that I would never be able to accomplish what I wanted. I had a dream of learning romantic psychology and bringing people together, but all he could do was look down on me. That's why I want to become the number one bridal advisor at Cuba Corp, to prove him wrong. That's also why I left home. That's the reason I don't want the company to fall apart. So, I see. I left off the fact that Dad was a god, of course. Mr. Snell sighed deeply after I finished. I get it now. So that's why you're so passionate about getting promoted. My top priority is to still match people together. I want everyone to find happiness in marriage. That much is clear from your project proposal. I've never seen a project plan that was so considerate of the participants. I think it was very well done. Thank you. You were worried about saving a place where you could continue to matchmake and to prove something to your father. That's right. So please go ahead and continue to put me to good use, sir. Please don't say put me to use. I feel like we're a team now. Oh, you may be right. Then let's join together and defeat the enemy. <laughs> I'm glad I can rely on you. So how's the project going? You know, it's, it's, it's going, it's coming. Oh, I found a public kitchen and recruited the help of a culinary expert. Gordon Ramsay? I also hired a designer to come up with a print ad. I like to host a trial event to check the facilities and plan. I was also hoping to enlist the help of the Parasite 5. You want to bring them back into the... <laughs> you want to bring them back in? Parasite 5? Yes. They're not members anymore, but they did want to get married at one point. I thought they might cooperate. I, uh, I don't know if I want to see them. The plan was to cleverly ask about their current situations and try to bring them back into our matchmaking service. I don't... I... I see. That may be a good idea. I'll look into it. Are you sure? But aren't you already pretty busy? Please send me a mail to the details later. This is part of the job. Send me the details later. And I'll adjust my schedule to find the time. Thank you. I want some female members, so I'll ask Clarice. Maybe I can invite Melanie, since I'm her current advisor. I keep forgetting about her. I wrote her name down on a list of people to invite. I suddenly heard a small snicker. You really are passionate about your work. Of course. Oh, I'm sorry. We were in a meal breakfast, weren't we? Yeah, e. No, it's alright. I do the same thing all the time. Mr. Snell smiled as he pointed to his phone. I then enjoyed my breakfast with Mr. Snell in a nice relaxed atmosphere. A few days later. It was the day of my 5 star challenge, Cooking with Fire trial run. Do they, they actually show up? I'm scared. 
また会えて嬉しいよ。Yeah, yeah, really here. Long time no see. Thanks for inviting me. I'm really glad to see you again. Are you still a simp? Hey, e e kitchen jam. On the go? Hmm, not a bad kitchen. So, where are the girls? Are you still a hoe? o t s k a r i s a m a d e s o s e b a n i n a t o r i m a s Hello again. I'm very much looking forward to this. Are you still a op? Konnichiwa! Ambrosia and Nectar got scredded the key than the kid, oh, h o Hi there. I heard you were making Ambrosia and Nectar here. Is that true? You're still a weirdo. Welcome. Come right this way. The Parasite Five had all come. I handed them the aprons. We're missing one. I handed them their aprons and cooking instructions, then left them to the kitchen. Where's my boy at? Uh, Melanie had right first. She jumped in surprise and hid in the corner. Melanie, I'm gonna warn you right now. They're some weirdos. But please, stay away from the purple headed one. <laughs> Melanie is really scared. I would too. But the whole point of this project is to help shy members have fun. So I came up with ways to help them communicate naturally. Please do not pair up with Alan. Huh? Are we missing one of the parasites? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Ryuki, right? He didn't respond to my email. So maybe he's not coming. I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm so pleased to be here today, my adorable Cupid. What's with the lady with the caked on makeup?、Hmm? And you are? Cupid Corporation Kaihatsubde, System Kaihatso Tanto Storimas, Kuralis Tia to Mosmas. Hello there. I'm Chloe's Tia. I'm part of the Cupid Corp System Development Team. Chloe's introduced herself curtly, curtly, and quickly stood behind me as if to hide from Catherine. What's wrong, Clarice? Are you scared? I don't like her. It feels like her eyes are piercing to my soul. Uh. I've never seen Chloe's act this shy before. She normally gets along with pretty much everyone. Let's have all the participants gather around. Do you all have your checklists? Hi. Yes. You're here too? Yep, I've got mine. Peter? When did you get here? Oh. Okay. I've been here the whole time. I heard there was an event today, so I'm here to help. Peter is here too? I'm here too. Peter's here too? I don't really care for him either. Maybe I should go home. Well, wait, we already have too few women. That'll ruin the balance even more. And are you my bestie? Don't ruin this for me. Help me out. Huh? I'm not here to meet anyone. Yeah, but you're here to help me out. Here you go. Then how about we go somewhere together? I'll show you the sweetest dreams. Still the same. Alan, stop hitting on everyone. So, yeah, but still, go send them Chicago Mukashino Kobo. Here you go. Still the same, too. Isekara Hakut Sarita Toki Kara Kobo, Saishu Starashkte. Did you know? People started making bread almost 5,000 years ago. They found Pari, yada yada yada. Hey, I kinda. Um, what about to say? I, I wish Ryuki would have showed up. I want to see if he's still the same. <laughs> Spraying people. Come on, everyone. It's plenty cooked already. 
これまだ生じゃない Huh? No way. Isn't this still raw? その食材は色が変わらないのよ。難易度欲しく、なめないことね。I don't like the way you talk. The pattern and that. The, 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 the. I don't like it. That angry doesn't change color. This is a five star difficulty, after all. Hi, our honey. I'm a kimi. Koi してない前よりもずっと綺麗になって見えるけど。Hey, our darling. Are you in love? I can see. <laughs> Still the same. I can see that you've become even more beautiful than before. Less talking, more cooking. And if we're gonna flirt, flirt with the other girls. Huh? Is it really okay to add wine? I think Ambrosia has a better consistency. <laughs> you call all the worst people. Why can't you just call like some normal people? <laughs> oh, I dropped an egg. Oh, pardon me. I'm such a dainty young lady, you know. I still have a sneaking. What are you talking about? I still have a sneaking suspicion that you're my auntie. I don't know. Oh, this apple looks golden to me. Now that brings me back. Apples are meant to be hoarded. Cutting in half is such a waste. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Could you hold the study for me? Ah, yes. Ah, y'all repaired up. Sure, if you don't mind. Owen and Melanie are getting along much better than I expected. Owen is the earnest type, so Melanie shouldn't have a hard time talking to him. I should check to see if Owen is registered as a member. What does that say anyway in the back? Something, something, the table. Who tarder? Who tarder? Who were Terry la table? After about an hour, the cooking was finally done. Um, I saw complete dishes on the table. Some looked delicious, while others would make me hesitate. Chato, kono ryori tsukutta no dare desu ka? Recipe ni nai mono janai. Hey, who made this? This wasn't part of the recipe. Ah, sorry. I wanted to get a dessert, but I thought the egg was a little too sweet. I'm sorry. I thought you might want some dessert. There was some extra flour, so. So this is what? Kimine no mimo no tsukai de shodai. You're such a hater. It was this. Don't add in some creepy-looking concoction. Hmm. Nectar, da yo. でもこのレシピだと違う気がしたから追加でサルサ成人ソース入れたんだ。Huh? That's nectar. The recipe seemed different, so I added some salsa plan planet sauce too. Salsa planet sauce. Please don't add weird stuff to the drinks. And what is that sauce anyway? まあいいわ。他の料理はちゃんと完成しているもの。さあ実食までが料理よ。Whatever. The other dishes seem fine. But it's not complete without sampling the final product. Wash your hands and take a seat. Hmm. Uh, super late. So you are actually cooking. Ryuki, you made it. My store isn't far from here. Your message said that you were making Japanese food. Would you like to sample our Japanese cuisine? Jan, Yamata no Orochi no Shippo Kirosu des. Tada, Yamata no Orochi Tail Day. I don't know how to say that word. Kurosa Hanabuda. Huh? Oh. 
Did you just come up with that name on the spot? これ和食でしょそれで日本の神って言ったらやっぱり有名なのはヤマタノオロチかなって思って。Well, it's Japanese, right? And Yamada no Orochi is a famous Japanese god, is it not? 最終的に殺されるけどね。It gets killed in the end, though. ロマンだよね。Oh, how romantic. 調子はどうだ Oh, hey. How's everything going here? Oh, Mr. Snell, thank you for coming. We just finished cooking. Would you like to join us? いいのか My bad, I skipped it. <laughs>、uh, he said,、uh, You don't mind? Not at all. There's plenty to go around. We just need to figure out what to do with this weird drink. Throw it out. Or have him drink it. He can drink it. Not Shelby, the person who made it. <laughs> um. What's his name? I'll drink it. Raul. <laughs> Raul, you drink it. Oh, I don't mind drinking it. Your agent will get mad at me, so no. Can we just eat already? It's gonna get cold. Alright,、oh, everyone, let's dig in. Am I urging? They picked up the utensils and start eating. Wow, this is delicious. So, t h i a s a l a d is great too. Can I get some for you? Oh, thank you. Can I get some for you? Oh, I'm fine. I can do it myself. I'm closer though. Hmm, I think these two are quite compatible. Hey, Kono Gurata mo oishi! Dore mo kawata ryori de douna no? Te omotta kedo. Nigai to ikeru ne? Hey, this Graden isn't bad. Graden? Graden? I was wondering about why there were so many weird dishes. But it's actually pretty edible. Hmm, Ambrosia no kona ajita nan te omona katta kedo. Yeah, I didn't think that Ambrosia. What tastes like this, but. Ne saki kara kini na te tanda kedo. So no ambrosia te kono recipe fio ni aru bacon no kunsei no kunsei. So why are you calling it ambrosia? <laughs> Speaking of which, when you say ambrosia, are you referring to the smoked bacon? Te yu ka, konna no ga nain do hoshi go na wake? Futsu no udon jan. How is this five star difficulty? It's just some regular udon noodles. Sore o tada no udon to a omoa nai ho ai. Nan to it temo kono watashiga. Komugi kara kiji o tsukta udon da karana. That's no ordinary udon. I made that from scratch with homemade flour. Ma, jisai ni kitta no wa rabu krafto san desu ga. Gil's the one that cut it so perfectly though. <laughs> Okay, so maybe this did go well. This, this went really well. This went really well. Maybe I doubted y'all too much. <laughs> It's pretty hard to cut them all exactly the same length. But it sure was fun. Even in the midst of everyone enjoying themselves, I heard a faint voice admitting that she was having fun. I'm so glad Melanie enjoyed it. I was so worried about what would happen at first, but it seems that people are able to get along through the power of cooking. I can definitely carry this over to the actual event. I was thinking about that as I reached for a bit of baked gratin. gratin. Ow! Hot! I carelessly touched the hot plate that the gratin was on. A sharp pain shot through me, and my mind went blank. I never experienced anything like it. I didn't know what to do. Go to a sink、uh, and just start turning left and right. So I grabbed my arm from the side. Baka, Nani s i t i n d a Hayaku h i a t e You idiot, what are you doing? You have to cool it off. He turned on the tap 
and put my hand under the running water. Everyone knows you need to cool off a burn. What were you thinking? Is this what it feels like to get burned? Of course. Don't tell me you've never been burned before. I don't think I have. I mean, I've been splashed. You know, when I'm boiling something. A little splash, but like, never like, full on. Knock on wood. This is genuinely, genuinely my first experience. I nodded. And Mr. Snell sighed. We're gonna do it for scars. Burns are no joke. You know, if the scars are scars. I understand. But I think it's starting to cool down. No, not yet. He's worried about me. He held my wrist firmly to keep my hand under the cooling water. He doesn't have to grip so hard. I'm not going anywhere. Since I was freaking out earlier, he must have thought he had to keep a close eye on me. After a while, he finally let go. Man, he was so mad he stopped the music. <laughs> he was so mad at me he stopped the music. After a while, he finally let go. Thank goodness. Hopefully he won't scar. Right. Thank you. No, I only did what I had to do. I just hope you're... okay. Mr. Snell suddenly froze up. I turned around, and everyone was staring at us. Mind your business! <laughs> Heartbroken? You two sure are close. Nani? Oh, are you two dang already? Put your tongue back inside. <laughs> put, your, put your tongue away. What? Don't be silly. That, that's impossible. So this Yes, Mrs. Snow has a lovely wife after all. Oh, yeah? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Alan, you do not have a chance right now. You do not have a chance. You do not have a chance. I promise you that. If the two of you are dating, that's awesome for me. Here he goes. I really wish you wouldn't lick your lips when you say stuff like that. Put your tongue away. You'll, you don't have a chance either. I'm sorry. Burns can be serious. You should put some ointment on it. I glanced over it and saw Mr. Snell looking at his phone with a deep frown. <laughs> it seems as if he was writing a work email, but I've been around him long enough that it was just his way of avoiding the situation. Lauren, here. Use this to cool it off some more. Just then, Gil burst in with a mountain of ice packs. There he goes. Um, I don't need that many. Yes, you do. You have to ice it properly. <clears throat> you a little jealous? That concluded the trial for my five-star challenge, Cooking with Fire event. That is such a long name. Can we shorten it? That same night, I found myself in Mr. Snail's car. I'm sorry for having you drive me home while you were still working. No. It's my fault that your recent commute is longer. Let me help you out once in a while. Mr. Snell is so earnest. He 
He may be a workaholic, but he never forgets to be considerate like this. So, you're pretty well, I say, go to the just say no hot you'll be got to know she made a your trial event was a great success. I can't wait for the actual announcement. Thank you. I was glad to see that Melanie enjoyed it. Oh, my God. 本当にうちの会員を大切に思ってくれているんだな。You really do care about our members. His voice was soft and kind. I could tell thinking about that really made him happy. Possibly because he's so passionate about work. Mr. Snell knows more than others when someone put in the effort. He knows his other employees often and always recognizes them. I have nothing but respect for him. I hope Mr. Snell can find his wife soon. I'd even consider using my Cupid bow as a last resort. A few minutes later, the car arrived in front of the house. Here we are. Thank you very much. I undid my seatbelt, then turned to Mr. Snell, who was sitting motionless. Are you going to head back to work now? That was my plan, yes. Can I get a goodbye kiss? Mom? You know, Shelby, we've never had dinner together at home. Just the two of us. We talked about it before, but ultimately, his work made it impossible. I put on the attitude of a sulking wife, and he seemed to stumble over his words, unsure what to say. That's. <laughs> if you're always at work, they'll find out you're not as devoted as you say. Sorry, I'm just teasing you. I wish there was something I could do. I still have so much work to do. I know. I love my work too, you know. When you're really on the roll, it can be too much of a hassle to even stop and eat. I know it's too sudden to do it today, but if we find the right time, would you like to eat dinner together? I looked at Mr. Snell sitting in the driver's seat, and he finally looked back at me. His eyes appeared different from normal. It was as if he was serious and hesitant at the same time. There was even a slight pain in his eyes. The street lights appeared to make them waver. After a moment, he turned off the engine. So, Dana. Tamaniwa, ye de yu hao taberga. Right. I suppose we should eat dinner together once in a while. Do you mean it? <laughs> ah. Yes. He laughed and undid his seatbelt. Apparently, that once in a while meant tonight. For some reason, it made me really happy. Then you'll let me make you dinner tonight? Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it again. I'll make it again. I'll make it again. No, I'll take care of that. I don't want you to hurt yourself again. <laughs> That's right. Today was also the day he saw me get burned for the first time. Then, then how about we make it together? You weren't there for the actual cooking today, after all. <laughs> Fine. Does your burn still hurt? Not at all. Thanks to you, it doesn't hurt one bit. Nara, you got that. That's good. We got out of the car and headed inside. I felt like saying home sweet home. It really did feel like this was my home now. That feeling is probably what made me want to eat together with him. Lost in thought, I followed Mr. Snail into the house. Okay, you know, you think, yeah, <laughs> sorry, um, I think I'm going to end it right there. Things are looking real good right now. Things are looking real good. Things are getting real cute. Shelby's loosening up, especially like last episode, last episode, <laughs> 
last episode was real good um we're loosening up my character's falling in love she's falling in love so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye i say bye bye but i'm probably just gonna stay right here and keep going i told y'all i'm not playing around back to work